As a young kid just about to go into secondary school, what are you meant to do? There's no way out. No one understands where you're coming from. I've kept all this pain bottled up for 20 years. People normally see me laughing and joking, being Joey Essex. Good morning, Joey. Good morning. Things that happened to me, I haven't been able to talk about. Are you filming? When I was 10, my mum took her own life. And the truth is, I've never been able to deal with it. No one really knows what's going on inside my head. I'm on my own. I'm lonely. After what happened to my mum, my whole life was completely torn to pieces. I'm trying to fill a gap. I've tried everything, I've done everything. Nothing seems to make me happy, nothing. I've decided to look for help. Dr. Stephen Blumenthal is a clinical psychologist and psychoanalyst. I've never took a therapist serious. It feels like it's gonna be one of the biggest things I'm gonna do in my life. There is a Joey who has become sort of emphasised. Mm. He's become, you know, the, the sort of funny Joey. And everybody's latched onto that funny Joey. One side of you which does want to advance and go on, and then there's another side which is wanting to stay a child. I wonder if one of the things that holds you back is that it would mean letting go of your mother? Um, maybe, but it's, it's, I don't really, I don't know really, like, that's one thing in my life that I will never get over, mm. ever. I don't really want to talk to you about it right now. I don't want to just start going into detail about how, how awful it was and bad and this happened and that, it's just, it's too much. Hello. 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 I want to be able to open up. I want to be able to lay it on the table properly without like hiding like like things in my mind. And this mm. is the thing you've got to get up and you've got to go. Even on the days you don't want to go, you've got to go. Yeah. And that's that's going to be challenging in itself. You've got to learn how to speak to your therapist and be open because I think it. So you won't always put up. The different Joey, you'll put up, you're becoming more natural and openly speaking about it, Joe. Yeah. You're gonna have to live with you for the rest of your life. You can put on this big front, but at the end of the day, when the, when the doors are closed, you've got to be with you. The timing of it was just terrible. It couldn't be any worse. Like you're growing up, like you're like 11 years old, like you, you switched on. As a young kid just about to go into secondary school, what are you meant to do? There's no way out. I'm not going to go up to other kids and start talking to them about it. I ain't going to talk to the teachers about it. No one understands where you're coming from. I want to find true happiness. I want to find love. I've been in good relationships, and I've, I've seemed to push that away. For some reason, this past week, I feel really tired. Right. Um, I don't feel like I'm, get, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting it, any, anything, you know. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, uh -huh. why should I trust you? Like, it's weird. For me, it's like quite frustrating. I'm not opening up because I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I've never had this before, mate. You know what I mean? I've never took it this serious. Yes. So I think me taking it serious, I'm just fucking, I'm finding it difficult. Mm. I just feel trapped. Mm. Mm. Sometimes that's how I feel. Yes. Gosh. No, shoot, look. I just don't believe in it, Matt. Yes. I always think to myself, like, if she loved me that much, why would she leave me? Yes. Yes. Today, uh, going back to my old house, back to Bermondsey. Mum, turn it off. I've never wanted to relive these memories. I've never wanted to. I've never like gone back to that turning where you turn in and you pull up at my house. I've never done that before.
All I can remember in Bermondsey is just smiling, being happy, no worries. Obviously, as a child, you don't have no worries anyway, but it's just it was just all the happy times. And I just felt like everything was perfect. I think that was my vision there, the top one. Hello, mate. Hello, all right, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Come Th in. Thanks for letting us in, mate. I really appreciate it. I remember I used to go on, I remember I used to always hide in there. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't ch changed much. I used to, my mum used to wash me in the sink here. It's quite happy, happy memories, though, you know what I mean? It's not. I just have a, I just have a flashback, I just, I remember. We'd sit here on the steps. I remember Mum used to I used to open this. Mum would cook macaroni cheese. And then we'd all just we'd all sit here like this. Like that. I suppose that thought of like, oh should I, shouldn't I? He's not gonna be there anymore. That anxiety feeling, do you know what I mean? Of should I ever go back to that? Place, should I? But now I, it don't seem to be as bad as I, I thought it was. But yeah, I'm glad I've come back. Definitely. <laughs> I've got to take a picture. I'm definitely going to keep going to therapy. 